everyone has an opinion about Canadian federal politics. Hey gang, what's up? Just Aaron right here, Question Period Canada. How y'all doing? We've been watching and learning all about Canadian federal politics, trying to share that with you. We've got all of these crazy videos to watch from the House Commons, from committee, from the scrums, whatever. There's many sources. But let's take a peek at this one. It's off the rails. All the videos here are. Let's take a peek. We're here reviewing Indigenous contracting as well. Documents uh, have been received that reveal that a small number of uh, nominally Indigenous firms were able to act as brokers between the federal government and other uh, potentially non-Indigenous companies, uh, simply getting contracts and subcontracting. This allows the contracts to fit into an Indigenous contracting quota, even though Indigenous people do not actually benefit because the subcontractors may be all or mostly non-Indigenous. These companies are essentially using the DALI or GC Strategies model. I want to ask you, when a company gets a contract under an Indigenous set-aside, is there an expectation or or a requirement that some percentage of subcontracts also go to Indigenous firms? Indigenous Services uh, Canada manages the list of Indigenous uh, businesses that are qualified Indigenous contracting companies, um, but PSPC manages this overall, and I will say that Departments are responsible for making a request to IS to conduct a post-award audit, and the audit has to be um, requested when there's any suspicion at all that the requirements of the applicable policy haven't been met through delivery and Indigenous Services Canada. Can, can I just clarify my question, Minister, and I'd, I'd love to hear your response on this. Is, do the requirements include that a certain percentage of subcontracts from an Indigenous contracting situation, that a certain percentage of the subcontracts okay. go to Indigenous companies. And are the subcontractors tracked in any way? It, right now, the percentage is 33%. In other words, the contractor's delivery of goods or services and monitoring the contractor's compliance with the 33% Indigenous content requirement for contracting companies. Okay, okay. Th I thank you. That, that, that's I what I was looking for. And I, I appreciate that, the, the, the one-third uh, requirement there. Is that tracked? Because the committee asked for subcontracting information, and we received, in, in almost all cases, zero information about subcontracts. So I'm a bit mystified about how, um, how the government would know if that requirement is being met, if subcontracting is not being tracked in any case? I actually uh, just want to clarify my answer, and then I want to uh, add one thing. It's 33% for the contract. That would be verified in the post-audit that I, ISC ISC does. And on your question about subcontractors, I actually think it is a good point, and I think that we should do uh, continual work to be able to track the the suppliers in the subcontracting process. Yeah, Minister, I, 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 I really appreciate that, that comment. That's, that's the first time I've ever questioned a minister and had an acknowledgement of, of an important point because I think there is a gap. We received no information on subcontracts. We didn't get an answer from the previous minister. Uh, so I hope we'll have you know, agreement from this committee, from, from you, uh, to, to refine that process so we're actually tracking subcontracting information. Everyone has an opinion about Canadian federal politics. Hey gang, so what do you think? Is that video off the rails or on course? We just won an election. 70% of Canadians say they do. We'll have to wait and see what happens, I guess. Like, that's what we get. Anyhow, my name's Aaron. This is Question Period Canada. We have a million questions, almost no answers, but we are showing the information to Canadians that I think as a viewer, I would want to see as a Canadian. Like, I don't really have a side. I care about Canadians, though. And last couple years have been pretty rocky. Till the next video, thank you for watching this one. It's great. Thank you. We're learning, trying, trying to learn all about Canadian federal politics. Come and join us. My name's Aaron. Like, subscribe, share, get notified, all those fun things. Check out one of the other videos. We have a blast here. 
Anyhow, till the next video, catch you later. Out.